Welcome back everyone to another TechZone video. In this video, this will mark as a return to uh, Unity tutorials. So be happy about that because I've been getting a lot of requests, especially the one I saw just recently. And probably my highly requested one is creating a multiplayer game in Unity 3D. And I do want to make a tutorial on that, but I unfortunately can't. Which is why I'm going to explain to you today why not and everything will be covered in this video. Now I know some of you are going to be disappointed by the fact I'm not going to show you how to create a multiplayer game itself but instead I will show you what you will need to uh, create the multiplayer game itself however creating the multiplayer game itself I mean the process is not easy at all. So let me just start off by saying that multiplayer is one of the most important aspects in a video game. It's optional but it's recommended because it pretty much increases the satisfaction in a video game, such as Call of Duty Black Ops. I mean, if it wasn't for multiplayer, it wouldn't be this successful. So, what I can say is that multiplayer is probably one of the most addictive parts in a video game. But creating the multiplayer game itself, or adding the multiplayer ability into a video game, is definitely not easy at all. You could say that you could just set up a server and two people will have the same game and you connect to the same server and then you're good to go. True, that is so sort of how it works, but setting it up is really not that easy. The thing that I find hard with multiplayer games is that not, well firstly you will need to know quite a lot of uh, coding knowledge uh, in JavaScript or C Sharp. I, I sort of recommend C Sharp because that's what I'm trying to learn right now, but anyway. Uh, you need to know, you have to know some coding knowledge in order to accomplish multiplayer. And let's suppose that you are able to set it up. There are a lot of precautions that you have to take aware of when you're setting a multiplayer game before and after you set it up. A multi and creating a multiplayer game itself is one of the most difficult parts, or most complex, par complex parts in Unity 3D. So if any of you beginners out there who really want to make a multiplayer game, uh, make sure you are fluent or used to some programming language and then make an attempt in networking. Okay, so let me just explain to you guys what precautions you need to take when you're setting up a multiplayer game. First off, the most important part of course is the server. Now, there will be links in the description which can uh, basically explain to you the basics of networking in Unity 3D. The, one of those links will explain the different types of servers. There are different types of servers you have to choose from which I won't be unfortunately explaining in this video but I will tell you how you can set up a server if you want to set up a server for your game all you can do is just download SmartFox server now SmartFox server is basically well basically allows you to create a server for your video games in Flash, Unity or whatever it is and there is a free version you can download there is SmartFox Basic, SmartFox Pro and SmartFox 2X now in SmartFox Basic they have a free one that you can try well for free actually which allows you to have a maximum of 20 connections but well basically 20 players I think uh, but the thing is that's not pretty much a decent amount and if you want more connections or players to join in the, in the server it's gonna come with a price such as for 100 connections it's 200 euros and for 500 connections it's 400 euros but for unlimited connections which is what everyone wants pretty much it's 800 euros which is going to be pretty pricey in dollars so that's the thing setting up a server is also gonna come with a price but setting up the server is just one thing once you set up the server there are a lot of things you have to do in order to maintain it okay one of them is uh, the bandwidth usage on your server which you have to decide on a limit on bandwidth which you don't want to use too much but this is pretty much this pretty much varies on the number of players in your server. If there are a lot of players in your server, then bandwidth probably needs to be increased by a particular amount. And then another thing that you have to be aware of are the clients that are going to be connecting to your server. You have to be aware if those clients should, are permitted to actually connect to your server or maybe those clients are supposed to be banned from connecting to your server. And another thing, hackers. Another important part. Now if your server is vulnerable, hackers can easily hack into your server and they can mess around with it. So your server has to be secure or it has to have some security. And that is pretty much also going to cost you a bit. 
And servers are not the only thing you have to worry about in multiplayer. You also have to think about like how the players are gonna connect to your server, and then the GUI interface, you have to set up the levels, and basically how multiplayer is basically gonna work. Is it gonna be like free mode? Is it gonna be action, racing? How is it gonna work? So there are a lot of things you have to be aware of when creating a multiplayer game. Now I know there are some of you who might be thinking that I'm not explaining properly. But trust me, having to explain the concept of multiplayer in one video isn't going to be easy. And for those of you who keep requesting me to make a tutorial on how to create a multiplayer game, it is not easy. You need to know some programming knowledge like JavaScript or C hash. Then you will have to know the concepts of networking, which you can read in the links below. And then once you're really ready for it, then you can't, can't start developing your multiplayer game. However, there are ways you can create a multiplayer game without having to have any coding knowledge at all. Now there have been users who have created Unity packages which includes everything you need in order to create a multiplayer game without having to use up any code. This usually includes uh, the GUI or the GUI interface and it includes all the codings to connect to the server, it includes the chat box, it includes everything you need to set up the multiplayer game. All you have to do is drag and drop, easy as that. Now let me tell you guys what you can find in the asset store in uh, Unity 3D that can help you get started with uh, multiplayer. First off is the Ultimate Networking Project by M2H. Now these guys have developed a complete project which comes with a PDF file which has tutorials on using chat boxes and then creating lobbies, main menus, including how to convert a single player first person shooter to a multiplayer first person shooter. However, that is not easy and I don't think I can I will be able to explain in one single video in con continuous videos it's kind of complicated to do so I recommend that you actually read the guide that they include and it also includes all the assets the GUI interfaces all game objects and everything you need in order to set up your multiplayer game however this is also gonna come with a price it costs $85 for this but I can tell that it's worth it because the reviews say that it's probably the best ways to get started with multiplayer. So using that is probably the most easiest way to get started with uh, multiplayer. Okay, so now I think I should wrap this up. So my point is, creating a multiplayer game isn't as easy as it, lo as it looks. And for having me to create a tutorial on how to create a multiplayer game isn't going to be as easy as having to create in one video. It's going to take a series of videos and yet I still have to learn it. I don't even know how to create a multiplayer game, but I'm showing you guys how the concept and everything works. So, for those of you who keep requesting me to make a multiplayer game, hope this unfortunately answers your question. I know it's not a good answer, but that's the way it is. And how about you just try uh, the Ultimate Networking Project to help get started with it. And since everything's included in it, you don't need to pretty much know any programming or anything to get your game set up. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why well, subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.